See, this was a very productive year. The town was able to take advantage of the hard work and preparation from the past to bring several projects forward with grant funding and significantly reduced cost to our citizens. At the same time, the town focused on fundamentals. There were wonderful activities coming from, from the community to make the town a better place. The town's previous work on water projects made us well positioned to receive grant only funding for two projects. The Sunset Drive water line replacement and the lead service line inventory project. The grant funding for these projects allows the town to continue its renovation of our system and do the required inventory without cost to the rate paying customers. Staff was excited to be able to take advantage of other grants for a new police car. Additionally, council funded another police car as well as a new truck for maintenance. Staff also had a great year for licensure. Uh, the town now has three operators who are fully cross-trained and licensed to work at both treatment plants. Existing projects made substantial progress as well. The water treatment plant renovation project was substantially complete at the end of the year and it and is incredible improvement to the staff. The wastewater centrifuge project, which will bring the town's water treatment plant into the modern era of treatment of sludge, is awaiting the final piece of equipment for completion. The use of ARPA funds for the wastewater improvement allows uh, the town to make this incredible step forward again without an impact to rate paying customers. And I want to repeat that, without an impact to rate paying customers. Uh, there were additional projects in town to improve the present and the future. Lynchburg Road was opened up to make a new connection between <coughs> Route 6 and Union Hill. Amherst County High School began a major expansion and renovation project, which will expand and update the school. The Garden Club, who we all love here, uh, the Garden Club worked with staff to get new entrance sign lighting, add decorations at the south end for Christmas. Near the end of the year, Habitat of Humanity uh, completed their three houses on North Main Street. At the same time, things that make the people love the town of Amherst continued. It was a fantastic year for both the First Responders Parade and our Christmas Parade. Sheriff's Department also held their national night out with our police in the town, as well as their car show. The Halloween trunk or treat was the biggest yet, and the town was, fre was frequently the place to be. Our small businesses are thriving, and downtown is busier all the time with pedestrian activity increasing every day. We're so blessed to live in a place where people celebrate together and uplift each other in so many different ways. So that is my 2023 state of the town. Mm -hmm.